Italy is set to roll out COVID vaccination certificates while deadly prison riots force a state of emergency in Ecuador's penitentiary system. Ian Lee is following these stories and other headlines from around the world. Ian, good morning. Good morning, Amory. Yeah, Ecuador's penitentiary system is in a state of emergency after riots erupted in two prisons. At least 22 people are dead and 57 wounded. President Guillermo Lasso ordered a mobilization of all resources needed to reestablish order. The military is in now control of the prison's perimeter and entry, while the police are establishing control inside the facility. Authorities say a mix of high caliber firearms and explosives were used during the riots. The casualties include prisoners and guards. Some inmates did escape in the chaos, but dozens have been recaptured. Ecuador's prison system has long suffered from overcrowding while being understaffed. Next, more than 170 people are still missing since last week's floods that hit Western Europe. Officials now fear they may not be found. The search continues, though, while the death toll climbs, now standing at more than 200 across the continent. Germany was the hardest hit, with entire towns completely drenched by the water, but other countries, including Belgium and the Netherlands, were also hit. Experts say freak weather events like the floods and recent heat waves are signs of climate change. We move on to Italy, where the country is implementing in a mandatory COVID vaccination certificate starting next month. And people will have to prove at least one shot or a negative COVID test to access restaurants, movie theaters, and gyms. The move comes as cases spike from the Delta variant. But finding the origins of the virus just got harder. China rejected the next stage of the World Health Organization's investigation into the pandemic. The WHO wants to audit laboratories in the area where the virus emerged, but China said that the request showed disrespect and arrogance. The U.S. criticized China's position as irresponsible and dangerous. Finally, we are in France, where President Emmanuel Macron has changed his phone and number after reports he was targeted by the Israeli-made spyware Pegasus. Macron also ordered an overhaul of security protocols. A local media reports that he and 14 other ministers were flagged as potentially being spied on by Morocco, although Morocco official, Moroccan officials deny the allegations. Now, the spyware is thought to have infected some 50,000 numbers targeted by clients of the NSO group. Others targeted include presidents of Iraq and South Africa, as well as a number of prime ministers. Uh, Amory, working in the Middle East for over a decade, journalists always assumed and operated as if our phones were bugged and being listened to. Now we're seeing just how sophisticated that hacking is. That is so true. I've heard about that, that in some countries, you know, you just don't even turn your phone on because if you do, immediately this malicious uh, software starts being downloaded. Um, yeah, you definitely very sophisticated if you're talking about a head of state right now. Um, thank you very much. Appreciate it.